Yo guys, what is up? BKCK here, and today I'm bringing you the third video tutorial video on my plugin Pixel One Gym. I've had a massive update, um, term in terms of what it actually does, and uh, yeah. So uh, this I've just got this little server going on my uh, computer, and basically all I did was drag in the Pixel Gym 1.9 jar, which is the latest version. Which is currently pending approval, so so this is kind of for in the future if it's not pen like been accepted yet. But basically, when you start it, you'll get a config as normal. Um, but for those of you, for, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> for those of you that this is new to, uh, that's basically where the config generates. So uh, let's start off. Uh, what we're going to actually do is delete the Pixel 1 GM folder so it generates a default. Like, so it generates the default one. And when you start a server, so it's just starting at 1.6.4 uh, R2, which is the version that it works for so far. And uh, then Pixel GM 1.9 enabled. Okay, so let's just refresh quickly. Let's just find my server. Here it is. Right, so we're in here. I'm just going to turn on the sound really, really quickly. Right, so here, you say the Rock Gym Leader has come online at BKCK to disable the scoreboard. Do slash gym scoreboard. Now, this isn't a Pixelmon server. Um, this is just a little bucket one that I've made uh, for demonstration. Um, it just saves me restarting the server, like my other server, that is actually a Pixel 1 server. But, uh, but yeah. So if you do slash gym, it brings up the list of commands. So we've got gym list. So if we do, we'll do them in order. Gym list. That lists all the gyms. And one of the big features in 1.9 is that you can now enable or disable gyms. And it supports up to 32 gyms. Um, so here are the first eight that are enabled by default. Uh, we'll get on to how to enable more in a minute. We do gym leaders. Currently you're not going to say anything. Because I don't actually have a permissions plugin installed I don't think. Uh, no, so yeah that. Um, but basically anyone with the uh, specific Pixelmon uh nodes so if i normally in game if i had a uh, group manager i'd do man you add p so that's man you so user add permission and then it'll be the play names will do bkck even though it's not going to do that because it doesn't work because it's not actually a plugin on the server and um, bkck and then pixel gym dot gym one now anyone that's not off will require that to open gym 1 um, or gym 2 or gym 3 uh, also to do it they would need I should have not really got rid of that man you add p bk ck which is my ign pixel gym dot leader that basically um, shows them up as a leader on the leaders list and basically allows them to open and close gyms in general. Then you have uh, admin. This basically allows anyone with this node to close all gyms, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. And then you have pixel gym dot reload, which basically reloads the config. And the config is a big part of the plugin, that is for sure. So if you do uh, slash gym again, do slash gym rules. So it says here, proper usage just slash gym rules, gym number. So we'll do gym one. Now, at default, there isn't any rules set. It's just your first rule for gym one goes here, example. And basically, you can do it for each one. So it'll say gym one there and gym one two. So basically, it displays five gyms that anyone can do this command by default. Let's just scroll back up. So you've got opening gyms next. So if you do gym open gym one, this is the rock gym. Now it says here, pixel gym, uh, the rock gym is now open. This here, 
the plugin can be found at and then the link. This only displays to the person that actually initiated the command, not everyone else. And then also it appears on the right hand side on in a scoreboard. You can have up to 15 gyms on the scoreboard at one time. Um, this is not anything to do with the plugin that's like only lim li limiting it to 15. It's just what Minecraft enables up to 15 scores disp displayed at once. Um, so that's a, that's a little bit of a bummer about that but nevertheless if if you're on a server with 15 gyms open at one time that's a pretty active gym so you just need to make sure that people close the gyms so talking about that let's go and close our gym so now it's remove the scoreboard and um, because it was the only gym open at the time if i do gym open gym one and then gym open gym two so we've got two gyms and we close gym one failed because I just opened it again. Close gym one. Now it only says water is open and it actually said which gym number it is. So it's gym number two. So that's pretty cool. So if we do gym let's open another gym. Gym open gym five which is poison. Again shows five because it's gym five and do slash gym close all it then closes all the gyms. The little box that pops up then is uh, to do with a mod that I have, which is custom NPCs, so ignore that. But it says all the gyms are now closed, that's gone, and do slash gym list. They're all set to closed, and they are by default, but if I do slash gym open gym one, and do slash gym list again, it says this is open, and the level cap is 20. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change a few of the things because we know all the commands um, and then we'll it'll bring us to use reload. So if you go here, go into the plugins, into the pixel gym folder, open the config.yml so it brings us this. Uh, basically, ignore everything with all the comments that's like meant to help you out but it failed badly. So basically you've got title, so this is the prefix, so if you imagine here, it, you can change this so instead of saying pick someone GM, you can say it to whatever you want. So let's do that. Let's change it to who I don't know. Uh, blah, blah blah. The Helix server, right? And you've got the gym one, so that's the gym name. So if you use like a gym list, the first gym is a rock gym. So let's change this to maybe. Random gym, just to be random. <laughs> so you got then color codes, uh, so you can change color. So it's currently seven, which is gray, which displays on the scoreboard and on the broadcast messages. If I scroll up a bit, that is and seven. So let's change this to and D, which is pink. Now on Mac, I have to copy and paste the quotes back of what is the ghost slanted. I don't know about PC, but uh, that's what I do. If you just see the uh, little quotations looking a bit different to the other ones and just make sure they are straight down and then gym one enabled true so this means it'll actually show in the gym list and it'll actually enable people to do commands for it and everything gym one level cap so if you change this to five again i just need to do the quotes quickly and then if you're just going to set one gym here uh gym rule here just go be subscribed on YouTube that's not a real one you know obviously I wouldn't use that uh, so you've got all these gyms applying the same rules the colors and um, you only get the title once because that's just the global title but then you have all these gym 3 gym 4 gym 5 all the way to gym 32 now you can ignore these here uh, this bit that's basically where the gyms get the default clothes from so just ignore that um right so now all these after gym eight if you can see gym eight enabled equals true gym nine equals false so if you change that to true and again copy and paste the quotes in i don't know make the gym cap 50 just for yellow just to make it random right 
and then we'll also do a uh, we'll do a rule various rules I'm just making crap up here as I say so what have we done we've changed the title of gym name gym color code we've enabled gym 9 down there changed a level cap and uh, we've added a few rules all right so now we've done that what we're gonna do is just slash gym reload now as you see this has screwed up here this still says rock so you're gonna do gym close gym one so this is gonna close it now it's still there so you're like eh how does that make sense um the random gym is now closed so that's what basically so it's taken the d color code and it's taken the name and also it's taken the prefix so that's cool but we're gonna do slash gym scoreboard and it basically disables the scoreboard and we're just gonna reload the server the reason we have to reload the server is because the scoreboard still actually update uh, because it actually needs a proper restart or reload to the server to update scoreboards and that's just how minecraft is I say Noth again nothing to do with the uh, plugin so we do gym open gym one and then we do gym scoreboard to enable the scoreboard again it says random in pink so that that's pretty awesome then also we enabled the other gym didn't we uh, so we do gym list so we've got all the eight gyms before but we've also got various gym I set to close and it all says the level cap is five no 50 sorry got confused and then the first one that was rock was before level 10 cap now it's level five so it's taking it there and it's really putting it all together and it's just you know a really handy plugin uh, but that's just about it I tried to make this plugin as simple as possible but in the end it needs to be complex enough to support all your needs um, so yeah if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments or leave the bucket page or the youtube video and i will gladly look into them but other than that guys peace out